So if you're interested in getting this Monster Jam Grave Digger all-terrain vehicle, here's a few things that I think you should know to determine if it's the right one for you. Well, as you're first starting to take this thing out of the box, you're going to notice that it is very secured. It's going to have a lot of tape around it. It's going to have some latches on it to really secure it both on the vehicle and the controller itself. When you get everything free, the first thing you'll notice is the tracks on the actual vehicle. With these tracks, they're made out of a really high quality rubber, almost like a plastic, but they do a great job of driving over really any terrain. So for example, I drove this over dirt that had roots from the tree sticking out and it did a great job of actually hurdling them. It didn't get stuck. And in this occasion that it did, all you had to do was walk over to it, flip it over, and then you're back to utilizing this. Not only that, I used it on cement and this is where it really shows its speed. This thing goes really really fast regardless of where i was using it the transition between each of the terrains was really really easy and controlling it was no issue speaking of controlling this is the controller with this you power it on with two AAA batteries and then you're ready to go you'll see four different inputs with the left thumbstick you'll control going forward and backwards with the right thumbstick you'll control going left and right and the two buttons under the right thumbstick are for making sure the vehicle is going in a straight line so if it's veering towards the right you're going to click towards the left button. If it's veering towards the left, then you're going to click to the right button. And because they made the controller really simple, they made this really easy to utilize it straight out of the box. So I do appreciate that the vehicle already came with some charge. I love the details that went into this car. It's got the Grave Digger iconic design. It's got the details along the track panels, a charging cover port in case you want to take this over water. And thanks to its lightweight styrofoam type material, I have no doubt that taking this over water would work just as well as it does on all these other surfaces surface terrains. When the vehicle is at full charge, usually you'll get about 20 minutes of play time, but sometimes it's came close to 30 minutes. It's been a lot of fun playing with this and putting it through a lot of different terrains and seeing how it withstood. And man, this thing is impressive. Overall, love the design, love the feel of it, love how it drives. Really good product, comes with everything that you need. No issues here.